So far, we have discussed three aspects of the removal process. A, how do the teat cups come off the udder, namely without residual vacuum. Then, how does the milking unit move from the udder into the rest position. And thirdly, how does the unit hang in the rest position. Now let's look at something totally different. What happens if the machine falls off? You see, if there is a no-arm unit, you know what happens. Clunk! Claw falls on the floor, four teeth cups wide open, and all that in-rushing air now disturbs the milking vacuum for the cows on the left and the right. Instead, with the arm unit, the claw falls off, the arm catches the claw, the four teeth cups fall over, and shuts the vacuum off right there at the four nipples. No air rushes in, and the equipment sits there now and waits until the milker gets back to reattaches to the cow. Fall-offs happen occasionally, not many times, but I tell you, when it does happen, and you're milking with an arm unit, it is a much neater, much cleaner process, something that gives you a little bit of peace of mind, something you can live with for the few times that it happens. And then all these things combined add up to much less wear and tear on the claw and on the teat cups. It's common sense, isn't it? If the claw doesn't fall on the floor when it's retracted, if the claw doesn't fall on the floor when the cow kicks it off, the equipment just lasts a little bit longer, stays cleaner, gets better treatment, in other words, less wear and tear all the way around.